moment of truth. <gasps> in this video, I'm gonna teach you what you can put on your puzzles to make them this strong with one coat in less than 10 minutes. All right, there she is. What we're gonna do today is preserve it, glue everything together, and get a nice glossy clear finish on the top in one step with one thing. I'm just using a generic silicone mat that I found on Amazon to protect everything. Doesn't really matter. I've used wax paper before, that works. The goal is to glue everything together, but also have a nice protective sealed layer on the top. Gloss, to be exact. We don't want bubbles, we don't want brush strokes. We want everything to look just perfect, but like a puzzle at the same time. The bare minimum essentials. A puzzle, some brushes, and some Maker's Magic. Let's get started. All right, gloves are on so I don't get my hands all sticky. We're gonna start by swirling the Maker's Magic. Please don't shake it. It will create a ton of bubbles and just make things harder on us. Hmm, I only have a tiny bit left in here. I think it'll be just fine. A little goes a really long way. First step is to pour the Maker's Magic onto the plate. Oh yeah, that's plenty right there. I like to wipe the lid off so I don't glue it shut. We've got two different size brushes here. Now the coarser the brush you use, the higher likelihood of getting brush strokes. We don't want brush strokes. And we're just gonna start applying our Maker's Magic like so, working our way across the puzzle. A little goes a long way, so you don't have to use a ton. We can always do a second coat. But honestly, I don't think we're gonna need it. This stuff works so well that it should be fine. Now I'm not really worried about getting it on the silicone mat because this does not stick to silicone. So I know it will be able to peel up really easily. In the beginning, we're just trying to get it on there and get it covered. We're not trying to get anything perfect. We just want to get a nice layer on top. Now, once you're done, it will dry in about an hour. So we have a little bit of time to work with it. Ooh, I like going side to side. That's better. I got this puzzle for my wife for Mother's Day last year. I picked it up at one of our local markets. We live in the Pacific Northwest. So to see a puzzle that had a little boy and some mushrooms around him, I was like, oh, I gotta have it. This is great. We ended up finishing it last week. It took almost six months. We are not a puzzle family, but I can see us being a puzzle family for sure. It's a great way to spend time together as a family. So I really enjoyed it. Don't tell my kids I was doing a puzzle just so I could hang out with them. <laughs> I love my kids. All right, so we've done half the puzzle. We've got it all saturated, and then I'm just taking the bristles, and I'm going all one direction, just like this. You can see what it's doing to the Maker's Magic on top. It's just laying it down nice and even. What's really great about Maker's Magic is that it's self-leveling. So if you just let it sit, it will all level out, and the brush strokes and the bubbles and everything will go away. And when I first did this and experimented with this method, I used a roller just like this, but you can see, look at all those bubbles in the roller. Look at all that, it looks like spit. It is so bubbly. So I prefer to use a brush as opposed to a roller, because look at this, see what I mean? But in the event you get bubbles just like me, I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix it. This is why I brought the hot air tool. Let me show you how this works, this is really cool. I'm gonna turn it onto its low setting because we don't wanna burn anything. But if you just put it on the Maker's Magic, it pops all the bubbles. See those bubbles pop? That's it. That's all you need, just that right there. So we're gonna go back with the brush and just clean up the bubbles here so we can make sure that it's nice and clean and pure because if all those bubbles dried in the Maker's Magic, it would make this puzzle not look so good. That is why I don't advise using a foam roller or a brush like that. It's just not a good idea. You just, you run the risk of ruining your hard work, your memories. We don't want that to happen. Gosh, it's just looking so good. You can't even tell when this stuff starts to dry. It just, it's crystal clear. We've developed this formula to be specifically designed to remain flexible, pop any bubbles, be brush free, self leveling, all the good stuff that I talked about. And yes, you heard me correctly. We did develop this product. My wife and I own the company. We invented a wood burning marker about five years ago. And ever since then, we've been serving crafters. I love my crafters, they're the best. So we asked our crafters, what is it that you don't like about Mod Podge? How can it be better? We've got a list of like nine things. I brought it to our team, I brought it to our chemist, and we fixed all of it. 
And that's what you see here, Maker's Magic. Okay, so I see a little bit, it's a little bit thicker right here, and it's nice and glossy. So let's add a little bit more to this area so we can get that nice shiny sheen that I see right here. I think we just need to use a little more. Okay, we're gonna pour out the rest of the Maker's Magic. You just gotta get used to it and practice. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably an expert. I'd love to hear from you. Tell me how to improve my process, please. And then maybe I'll make a video about it. Let's get this brush in some water. The good thing about Maker's Magic is that it's completely water soluble. So when you're done, just rinse your brushes in warm water with soap or just plain water itself and it will be just fine. Let's grab our hot air tool and hit it one more time. I know you probably can't see it from where you're at, but it does a great job of popping bubbles. Just a little hot air, that's all we need. I'm gonna give this a few hours because we used a lot of Maker's Magic. Now, in the event that it just doesn't look quite right and we don't have that sheen yet, that's okay. We can put another coat on. Once this coat dries, it will seal the little cracks and stuff, so then the top coat will sit on top and even out and self-level. It is a really cool process and it's a really cool substance. I'll see you in a few hours. Let's see how our puzzle's doing. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's been only a few hours and everything just looks amazing. I wanted to bring you over to this side so you could see how the light reflects off the puzzle. I can see like maybe like right in here, there's a little bit of like just not enough product on it because when you look right here, oh, it's nice and smooth and shiny. So I think I just didn't put enough on the puzzle. And when you zoom out, oh, let me get a, another angle so you can see it over here. I just think it looks fantastic. You can't see anything. There's a spot right here that could probably use a little bit more Maker's Magic, but right next to it, you see it's nice and shiny. I don't know if you can see the difference there. Let me show you how it peels up. So when we're looking at the corner right here like this, because it's on the silicone and because it glued it together, I can literally just peel the whole thing up. It's incredible. It just peels right up just like this and I can pick it up. And you can see it didn't even soak through on the back either. So that means we got some good penetration. And that means the puzzle actually absorbed the maker's magic deep into these cracks, which is gonna hold it together for a really long time. It was designed to do stuff like this. Okay, there we go. Here comes the big reveal. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. This is insane. It's just together. Look at the back. Everything stayed on the top or absorbed into the edges of the puzzle pieces, which is exactly what we want because then it will create a bond and everything will be sealed together forever. If you want to coat the back to give it some extra durability, same steps, do the same thing. I coated the back on this puzzle back here just to experiment with it, but you don't have to do it. In fact, you can also coat the back and not coat the front, but if you coat the back only and you are a little overzealous and you get some of these spots that come through on the front, you will not be pleased. So I prefer to coat the front because it gives it the whole thing a nice sheen and it also waterproofs everything. But oh my, this is great and it's really strong. I just never expect it to be this strong. It blows me away every single time. I'm totally cool with stopping right here, but I wanna know what happens when we put a second coat on. So I'm gonna line this up again, exactly right where it was, and I'm gonna put on a second coat of Maker's Magic, this time a thinner coat, to see if I can get just a perfect gloss across the entire thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some right there. I'm gonna pour some right there. I'm going to wipe off the edge of the bottle so I don't glue my lid shut. Look at all that. Oh my gosh, that is gonna create such a nice level, even finish. I just am so excited. Wow. Okay, pouring it on was a good call because now we have this nice thick coating on here. It's looking really good. Wow, that is incredible. I just can't believe how nice it makes it look. Let's turn on the hot air tool. Let it get warm. Oh yeah, it's doing a great job popping them. That's it, just a little light heat, that's all we need. This figure right here is just so glossy and pure and it just looks really nice. I'm just very excited about that. 
and these edges, even if they're not perfect, I don't mind because the goal is to see what a second coat does. And we already know we've accomplished our objective. Look at it in the light. I wanted to come over here and I wanted to show you how much it reflects. Wow, that is beautiful. I cannot wait to see how this turns out. It's been another two hours after our second coat. Went and had some dinner with the family, came back, and here we are. Let's take a look and see how we're doing. Here we go. Moment of truth. <gasps> oh my, that is feeling solid. Wow. It's just crazy to me how it can do this. And it only took one or two coats. I mean, when I look at it and I touch it, it's just, it's gorgeous. What are you doing with these? Like, uh, I was thinking about just putting it up on the wall, but if you could just leave a comment telling me how best to mount and hang this, I would really appreciate it because I haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> I just, I'm just so excited about this. I had to share it with you. But man, you can see why, right? And there you have it. A complete and finished puzzle. All within a few hours and about... 10 minutes worth of work. It's just so cool that this was in pieces a few minutes ago and now I'm holding it up literally with one hand, swinging it around and it looks great. One coat of Maker's Magic and your puzzle will look just like this.